The 2023-24 Premier League season is almost upon us, but before the campaign can get underway, all 20 of its clubs have a rigorous pre-season to get through. So in this video, I'm calculating the number of miles every Premier League club will be travelling this summer. Hello and welcome to this Planet Playground video. My name is Tom Bushell and this is your home for sport and adventure travel because our planet is our playground. Please do subscribe, like the video and of course comment below with any questions and thoughts. So let's begin with Arsenal. They have already played their first pre-season fixture. That was at the Emirates against Watford. So that is a zero miles. Next up on their agenda is a trip to Nuremberg in Germany to play FC Nuremberg. That, a London to Nuremberg return trip, is 1,024 miles. Then they head off to the States for their tour of the USA. First up to Washington DC to play the MLS All-Stars at Audi Field. I've been to Audi Field to watch DC United play. It's very good. <laughs> So the journey from London to Washington is 3,665 miles. After that, it's off to New York, which is a short trip, just 204 miles, where they play Manchester United at the MetLife Stadium. Then Arsenal travelled to LA to play Barcelona. Another big flight there, 2,445 miles. And then after LA, it's back to London, back to the Emirates to play Monaco and LA to London, 5,440 miles. So the total for Arsenal, 12,778 miles. Let's put them into our Premier League pre-season travel table. 12,778 miles. And because they're the first club, of course, they go straight to the top. Will they stay there? Probably not. Next up is Aston Villa. Their first trip is a short 16 mile return journey to Walsall to play Walsall at the Bestcott Stadium. A good start from Aston Villa, but then it is off to the USA, much like Arsenal. They'll be traveling first to Philadelphia. So Birmingham to Philadelphia is 3,449 miles. Then they'll play Fulham in Orlando. So Philadelphia to Orlando, 862 miles. Then it is off to Washington DC, this time the FedEx Field to play Brentford. Orlando to Washington, 756 miles. And that wraps up their time in America. It's now time to get back to the Bescott Stadium. This time to play Lazio. Lazio are playing at the Bescott Stadium. So Washington back to Birmingham and Walsall. 3,567 miles. And then just to finish it all off, Villa will quickly nip off to Spain to play Valencia, and that will be a 1,802 mile return trip, meaning Aston Villa's total is 10,000. 452 miles. Let's put Villa into our Premier League pre-season travel table. 10,452 miles means they are currently second. Time for Bournemouth. And now Bournemouth are swapping the south of England for the south of Spain, off to Marbella for a couple of games. So 993 miles from Bournemouth out to Marbella, where they'll play Hibs and then Tel Aviv. Then 993 miles back. Then a very short return journey to Southampton to play Southampton at St. Mary's. That's 48 miles return. And then two home games at the Vitality Stadium. Perfect, simple, done. Bournemouth won't be getting many air miles this summer, but they'll be saving on a few airfares. A total for Bournemouth of 2,034 miles. They go into the table at the bottom. But will they escape relegation? in the pre-season travel table. On to Brentford and they start off with a very quick trip to Boreham Wood uh, just outside Watford, so 48 miles return there. Then Brentford start to spread their wings. They're off to America and first up it's off to Philadelphia. So London to Philadelphia for them to play Fulham, 3,541 miles. After Philadelphia, it's then on to Atlanta, so 665 miles, so they'll be playing Brighton there. Then it is off to Washington, and that is just 541 miles, Atlanta to Washington, where they'll play Aston Villa. And then after that, 
Brentford will come home back to London, so Washington back to London, 3,665 miles, meaning a total for Brentford, 8,460 miles. They go in at third underneath Arsenal and Aston Villa. On to Brighton and Hove Albion, no besting about from them. They are straight off uh, to America and first up for them, in Philadelphia, they'll be playing Chelsea, and that is a distance of 3,556 miles as the crow flies from Brighton. Then from Philadelphia, it's down to Atlanta to play Brentford, 665 miles. And then from Atlanta, it's up to New York to play Newcastle United, and that is a distance of 745 miles. After that, Brighton are done in America. They get themselves right back to the UK, back to Brighton, 3,475 miles, ready to play Rayo Vallecano at the Amex Stadium. So in total for Brighton, 8,441 miles which puts Brighton into the top four. Burnley up next, this won't take long. Uh, so Burnley, first of all, just two games in pre-season, uh, both of them away. First up, a trip to Belgium uh, to play Genk at the Sigeka, Sigeka Arena. That is 760 miles return from Burnley to Genk. Then it's a little trip to Spain. They'll be playing Real Betis, which is, of course, severe, and that will be a 2,294-mile return journey from Burnley to Sevilla. Done. So a total for Burnley, 3,054 miles. That puts them, for now, second bottom. Time for Chelsea. Here we go. Uh, first up for Chelsea, they are heading to North Carolina. In fact, to the Keenan Memorial Stadium. It's essentially in... Chapel Hill, which is a part of Durham in North Carolina. So, London to Durham, 3,874 miles. Then Chelsea head off to Philadelphia, which to be fair isn't too far away, 340 miles, where they'll play Brighton at the Lincoln Financial Field. Then it's down to Atlanta to play Newcastle, 665 miles. Then it's back up to Washington, D.C., FedEx Field to play Fulham. Uh, so Atlanta to Washington DC, 541 miles. And then Chelsea fancy a little trip to Chicago uh, to play Borussia Dortmund. Washington to Chicago, 603 miles. That wraps up their pre-season. They'll then head back to London. And so Chicago to London, 3,957 miles, meaning their total is 9,980 miles. They go third. Right, Crystal Palace, they're all over the place. First up, south of London to north London to play Barnet. Okay, 24 miles return. Then next, a home game at their own academy. Then they're off to Crawley to play Crawley. 40 miles return from Crystal Palace. Then they're playing Watford at their own academy again. Then they're off to America. Uh, Chicago to play Millionarios. 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 If I said that right. Crystal Palace to Chicago, 3,957 miles. Then a short journey to Detroit, 248 miles, where they'll play Sevilla. Then it's home to play Leon at Selhurst Park. So Detroit back to London, 3,750 miles. A total of 8,019 miles. They're in the top six. Everton. <laughs> so far, we've had glamorous locations. LA, Chicago, New York. For Everton, Tranmere, Wigan, Bolton, Stoke. <laughs> right, Everton, here we go. First up, they're off to Switzerland, to Neon to be precise. So a return journey from Liverpool to Neon is 1,268 miles. Then it's back to the UK to play Tranmere at Prenton Park. Just six miles uh, for Everton to travel there, a return journey. Uh, Wigan is next up for Everton, 32 miles at uh, return, Liverpool to Wigan. Bolton at the University of Bolton Stadium, a 50 mile return journey. And then next up from Everton, they're really picking the glamour ties here, Stoke uh, for them. Liverpool to Stoke, 86 miles return. And then Everton play at home at Goodison Park. So zero miles. A total for Everton, 1,442 miles. Once again, Everton are flirting with relegation. They're at the bottom 
of the pre-season Premier League travel table. On to Fulham, pretty simple for them actually, straight out to America and straight back. Right, Fulham against Brentford and Philadelphia, so London to Philadelphia, 3,541 miles. Then down to Orlando, that's 862 miles to play Aston Villa. And then Fulham are playing their London rivals, Chelsea and Washington DC. So Orlando to Washington, 756 miles. Then they need to get themselves back to London, 3,665 miles. So a total 8,824 miles for Fulham in total. Puts them in the top four. Let's have a look at Liverpool. Could Arsenal's position at the top of the table be under threat here? Uh, Liverpool start off their pre-season in Germany playing a side called Karl Schruhe. And that's 557 miles from Liverpool. Next up, they're staying in Germany. This time, they're travelling down to Nuremberg to play Grutha Firth. And then from there, they'll go back to Liverpool in total 785 miles. Next up, Liverpool go a bit further afield, this time to Singapore, to the Singapore National Stadium. That will be 6,831 miles. Then they'll stay in Singapore to play Bayern Munich before travelling back to Liverpool, so another 6,831 miles. Next up for Liverpool, they're at the Deepdale Stadium to take on Darmstadt. So 42 miles for Liverpool to Preston and back. Not too many games for Liverpool, but quite some miles. 15,066 miles. They go straight to the top of the table from 15,000 or so miles to something substantially less. Luton Town. Uh, just three games to go through. First of all, they're playing Ipswich Town in Colchester. So Luton to Colchester, 112 miles return. Then they're playing Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough, 224 miles return from Luton to Sheffield. Then they're playing Wolves at Molyneux, 174 miles return from Luton to Wolverhampton, making a total of 510 miles, which means they slip into the table at the bottom. I hope they don't finish the Premier League season at the bottom. I want Luton to stay up. Treble winners at Manchester City, uh, only three games in pre-season, but quite a few miles. Their first destination is Tokyo where they've got two games. So Manchester to Tokyo 5,871 miles. They'll play Yokohama there, of course another team within the City Football Group and then they'll play Bayern Munich both at the Japan National Stadium in Tokyo. Then they'll travel down to Seoul in South Korea uh, to play Atletico Madrid. So that will be 723 miles. And then to get back to Manchester, 5,457 miles. So a total for Manchester City, 12,051 miles. Which means they go into the table in third place. Right, Manchester United are attempting their own version of around the world in 80 days or something here or around the world in 28 days or something like that. Anyway, first up, Manchester United are playing Leeds in Oslo. Uh, so that is a 1,322 mile return journey, Manchester to Oslo. Then they're playing Lyon in Edinburgh. I'm going to that game actually, which is a 348 mile return trip from Manchester to Edinburgh. Then they're off to the east coast of America, New York first up to play Arsenal. Uh, that will be Manchester to New York, so 3,336 miles. Then, not content with the East Coast, they're going to head to the West Coast and play Wrexham in San Diego, so 2,425 miles from New York to San Diego. Then they're keen to get down to Texas and play a game in Houston where they'll play Real Madrid, so that's 1,301 miles from San Diego to Houston. Then they fancy a bit of Las Vegas. Why not? It's only 1,226 miles away. They'll be playing Borussia Dortmund there. Then Manchester United fancy going home, where they'll be playing RC Len at Old Trafford. So to get home, 5,068 miles. And then even though they are home, they're then thinking, actually, we can probably fit another little trip in before the Premier League campaign starts. So anyone fancy Dublin? Yeah, so they're heading to Dublin to play Athletic Bilbao. So that's 332 miles, a return trip from Manchester to Dublin. It's impressive going and it comes in at a staggering 15,358 miles. <laughs> they're going to have jet lag until Christmas. Anyway, they are top of the pre-season travel table. 
I'm exhausted after Manchester United. Right, on to Newcastle United. And this looks like a good pre-season. A couple of nearby away games, a trip to America, and then back for some home games. It looks sensible. Uh, they start off Newcastle United with a two-mile return trip to Gateshead basically the same city as Newcastle, to play Gateshead, just south of the River Tyne. Then it's up to Scotland to play Rangers at Ibrox, which is a 240 mile return journey from Newcastle to Glasgow. Then Newcastle head over to Philadelphia to play Aston Villa, which coincidentally is their first game of the Premier League as well. That's been played at the Lincoln Financial Field, so Newcastle to Philadelphia, 3,440 miles. Then Newcastle head to Atlanta, so 665 miles from Philadelphia to Atlanta to play Chelsea. And then it's to New York for Newcastle to play Brighton, so 745 miles. Then they head back to Newcastle, 3,334 miles from New York. And then they have a couple of games at home at St. James's Park against Fiorentina and Villarreal within the newly formed Cellar Cup. All of that brings Newcastle's total to 8,400 miles, which puts them mid-table, in fact, 10th as it stands. Nottingham Forest, uh, less busy this summer buying players, so actually they have a bit of time to do some travelling, but they start off in Nottingham with a very simple away game at Notts County at Meadow Lane. Obviously, that's literally the other side of the river in Nottingham to the city ground, so zero miles for that one. Then Nottingham decide, let's get off to Spain, where they'll play Valencia and Levante, both in Valencia. So a 932-mile trip from Nottingham to Valencia. After those two games, they'll head to Eindhoven to play PSV, so that's an 873-mile journey for them from Valencia to Eindhoven, and then 299 miles back to Nottingham. And then Nottingham Forest are making the short journey to St. George's Park to play Stad Rene. 44 miles return. So in total, very conservative, 2,148 which is about the same number of players they bought this time last year. It does mean they go into 17th in our travel table. On to newly promoted Sheffield United. They start off with an away tie at Chesterfield at the Technique Stadium, which coincidentally is on Sheffield Road. That's an 80 mile return journey for Sheffield United from Sheffield to Chesterfield. Then it's a little trip to the sunshine in, not to say Chesterfield won't have the sunshine, it might do, but Portugal for Sheffield United next as they take on Estoril which is in Cascais on the west coast of Portugal just near Lisbon that is a 2160 mile return journey for Sheffield United then they're off to New York to take on Rotherham hang on a minute they're Sheffield United are traveling to New York to play Rotherham that can't be that doesn't Oh, it's the New York Stadium. <laughs> it's the New York Stadium in Rotherham. Right, okay, that's fine. That makes a bit more sense. A 10-mile return journey from Sheffield to Rotherham uh, for that one. Then it's up to Manchester to play Girona. So a 64-mile return journey. And then away at Derby at the Pride Park Stadium, a 62-mile return journey from Sheffield to Derby. Then a home tie against Stuttgart. At Bramwell Lane, zero miles for that. Meaning a total of 2,314 for Sheffield United. On to Tottenham and first up it's a short hop to Australia where they'll be playing their London rivals West Ham United. <laughs> 8,996 miles to play West Ham in Perth at the Optus Stadium. Incredible. Okay, next for Tottenham, they're travelling to Bangkok where they'll play Leicester City. 3,350 miles to get from Perth to Bangkok. Next for Tottenham, they're playing in Singapore to face Roma. That is 889 miles from Bangkok to Singapore. Then they'll come home back to London. So Singapore to London, 6,744 miles to play Shakhtar Donetsk, which means... <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is an incredible amount of miles for four pre-season games. Well, at least they've won something. <laughs> Tottenham's total travel miles for pre-season, 19,000. 
944. They go straight into the travel table at the top. Although next up, West Ham, they're also travelling to Australia. So hang on a minute. Tottenham might lose out here. Right, West Ham United. This is going to be close. Okay, first up, West Ham travelled to Boreham Wood, just north of London. 28 miles return from West Ham to Boreham Wood. Fine. Then West Ham are heading to Perth. So London to Perth, same as Tottenham, 8,996. West Ham are playing Perth Glory and then they're playing Tottenham in Perth. So zero miles, they're not moving anywhere. But then they come back to London. So another 8,996 miles to get home. Then they're playing Dagenham and Redbridge. A short journey, West Ham to Chigwell essentially in London. 12 miles return for that game. Then West Ham, fancy being on the continent. They're heading to France to play Rennes. 496 miles return London to Rennes. When West Ham get back from that, they're fancying a bit of Germany. Why not? They're heading over there to play Bayer Leverkusen, which is a 606 mile return journey from London to Leverkusen. Right, what's the total then? Have West Ham pip Tottenham to the Premier League pre-season travel table for the 2023-24 season. West Ham's total is... 19,000 Tottenham fans. I sort of want you to win this. 19,134. West Ham come in second. Tottenham grasp the title at 19,944 miles for pre season. Staggering. Right, just one more club then. Wolverhampton Wanderers Wolves, of course. And this is very straightforward considering clubs have been gallivanting across America from east to west coast. Clubs gallivanting over to the Far East, to Australia, darting around Europe, backwards and forwards. Wolves have kept it very simple. Three pre-season games, uh, one of which has already taken place, and that was in northern Spain as they took on Vitoria, which I think is near Bilbao. The return journey at 1,346 miles as the crow flies. Their other two preseason games are at home at Molyneux. So their total, 1,346, which essentially puts them second bottom in the preseason travel table. Well, there we have it. Tottenham have finished at the top of the table. Well done, Tottenham. I know you have been desperate to win something. I am delighted to deliver that to you. Well done. At Luton Town, with 510 miles travelled, you finish at the bottom of the table. But I wish you all the success uh, for your debut season in the Premier League. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to the Planet Playground channel. I'd love you to like the video and subscribe as well. And I'll see you again next week.